We've been working with schools for a long time, and in fact I guess I've worked on about four or five billion pounds of new school buildings under BSF, Priority Schools and Condition Improvement Fund. And all through that process we've had a complicated procurement system, usually administered by the Education Funding Agency or PFI contractors. But invariably the results are buildings which are compliant. They should be they should be adequately ventilated, well sadly some and some aren't. They've got rooms and they've got they've got corridors and they've got social spaces. But the people who get involved in this aren't really too good at the interiors. Well, it happened to me as I was walking down the road and I saw a Barclays Bank one day and then I went there about two weeks later and it was completely different, it being completely differently fitted out. And I thought, well, who does that? Why can't we get these people to do stuff in education? Because they seem to be really focused on the quality of the stuff you touch, on the, on the quality of the internals, on the quality of how things go together. So I interviewed 143 fit-out companies. Guess what? They don't like working for authorities. They don't like working under frameworks. They just like working with direct users, the beeps like, um, like Google or Facebook or pret a manger or Nando's or anything like that. And they're really good at it. They know exactly what to do. They know exactly how to design stuff. What they're ferociously focused on is end result. They're focused on what's the flooring, what's the, what's the ceiling, what's the lighting. And more importantly, they're focused on value for money. That doesn't mean minimum cost nor does it mean maximum cost, it means working out what is it that I need to do in order to achieve the best value. So if I'm running a restaurant, what I want is I want more people to come in and enjoy their food and, and actually have a good time. If I'm running a theatre, what I want is I want people to feel comfortable in the seats so they're engaged all the time. And that's very different from building something functional. So we started involving them and that gave rise to the basis of adventure. All adventure is, is saying let's create a shell which is as simple as possible and let's put inside it some fantastic stuff using different fit out contractors, going into competition, wherever possible involving students in that debate. Isn't it crazy that in most schools if there's an adjustment to be made to the building or the fabric it's done by maybe the business manager and the head and a couple of others. The actual users, the students, quite often don't get involved. Yeah, they, may, they might get consulted but they don't really get involved. So if you've got students studying business studies, when do they ever see a company bidding for half a million quid's worth of work? They never get to see that. And that's really where the learning takes place. So that's what we bundled together in Fit Out. That's what we bundled together in Adventure. And it makes a phenomenal difference. So pretty well all the projects we've worked on or introduced Fit Out contractors through a competitive process, because you've got to get three bids and they've got to be really good ones, have been much, much faster than expected cost less and deliver more. And isn't, at the end of the day, that's value for money. And that's what adventure's all about.